Hey, what's up everybody? Nola Deech here, and I'm coming to you from Deritter, Louisiana. And I'm out here at the Beauregard Parish Visitor Center. And there's something inside that you just have to see. Come check this out. Inside the Visitor Center is home to a huge doll museum. And it's pretty interesting. The Lewis Lofton Doll Museum features dolls from Lewis and Albert Dutch Lofton who devoted over 48 years to collecting over 3,000 dolls that are on display in here. So when she got, got older, she would just, she started collecting and collecting and collecting. Well, then it got to where people would bring her dolls she would find them just on her porch in front of her door, you know, broken or, and she'd fix them and she'd keep them. And so this is when she passed away, this is her collection. She, wow. it was donated to the city. So I'm here in Deritter with a few friends and they're showing us around this doll museum. And this is just crazy. Look at all of these dolls. A little sock monkey. Cool. Just walking through here, I mean, this collection is very impressive. Porcelain dolls, plastic dolls, Cabbage Patch Kids. It's got everything here. And some of them will move on their own. They'll change positions. Something once, well, the creepy feeling. And then looking at one and it being you know, sitting up and then walking back in and it's leaned over. Pretty creepy. <laughs> I'm just in awe as to how many dolls are here. I've never seen so many in one collection. Looks like they're all very well taken care of, all dressed up in nice outfits, but there's just dolls everywhere that you look. There's so many here. This is crazy. They even have little small figurines, dolls from all over the world. Everything is represented here. Cabbage Patch Kids. Very impressive. Yeah, that was, that was the Christmas edition. Oh, Cabbage Patch. Christmas Fantasy Barbie. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's the old school. Yeah. I didn't know it was No, no, no it's cool. I, no, I mean, Ryan we're all here. My buddy. Is it ATT? Yeah. Oh, my buddy. Oh, Is there my buddy for real? I used to hide him in the closet. Wow. Didn't he talk, didn't he talk or something? I don't think he ever Jake's talked, my buddy. Yeah, so but I can I sing the song. And then they had kid <laughs> sisters. Wherever I go, he goes. I had Teddy Ruxpin. <laughs> I had Teddy Ruxpin. Teddy Ruxpin, And yeah. I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Oh, Pee Wee Herman. Yes. See, we even had a doll festival for the longest. It's time. Ernest. Oh my it's God. <laughs> That's awesome. How did I miss that? That's her. That is That is great. These creepy clown dolls. <laughs> this one here is out in the open in a little yeah. red wagon. The one standing behind the witch is the one that kissed me right here. Yes, this is just crazy. Look at this guy with his hair. Check it out. It's Mrs. Beasley from Family Affair. Do you remember that show? I used to watch it on Nick at Night, I think. <laughs> and some Mr. Potato Heads. Wizard of Oz figurines. Now we're getting into some creepy, creepy dolls. These eyes are all blacked out on this doll. Weird. Check out the eyes on this one. Alright, that's very creepy. This one's all grayed out too. Oh, what happened with the eyes? This doll looks 
better. Very she's angry. Not, not much better. No, but she's like, <laughs> she's like evil. Yes. There you go. Oh, look at this one. Weird. The eyes are grayed out on that one too. Oh, it's so weird. Now I have the My Buddy songs. It's all the Cabbage Patch Kids. That's the most Cabbage Patch kids I've seen in one area <laughs> at a time. <laughs> that was awesome. All those dolls. My favorite, though, has to be the Ernest P. Worrell doll. Ernest! I mean, that's just fantastic. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed a little land yap from this hoot at. Out here in Derrida, Louisiana, go pass a good time.